Hey, what's up? I'm Runestone Gaming. I stream this and many other games live over on Twitch, Tuesday through Friday. I hope to catch you there. So you're ready for Red Cube research, but you don't know what to do. So stay tuned for my Red Cube tutorial. This is a two-phase project where the first phase assumes you've yet to unlock X-ray cracking. If you've completed X-ray cracking research, then feel free to skip ahead in the video. For the first phase of this build, you will need to unlock plasma extract refining and energy matrix. You will also need smelting purification for energetic graphite. You will also need Mach 2 belt and Mach 3 sorter from high efficiency logistics systems. Place an oil extractor on an oil seep with at least two or higher production a second. Anything less than that won't work. Place a storage tank to store the crude oil. Run a long single belt. There's slightly more crude here than you need, but that's okay. Now place four refineries lengthwise side by side to take care of the crude here. For the input, use single Mach 1 sorters. For the output, run two belts, one close to the machine and one away. The inside belt will be refined oil. The outside belt will be hydrogen. Set your sorters. Hydrogen on the outside lane, refined oil on the inside. In this phase, the goal will be to obtain enough red research cubes to afford x-ray cracking, which is essential to the final build. For phase one, you will also need an outside line of graphite to get the basic red cube farm going so you can afford x-ray cracking. I'll leave this part up to you. Now, once you have researched x-ray cracking, you're ready for phase two. Now place eight refineries in the same manner as before. To power these refineries and sorters, drop Tesla towers in the space that I've provided. Run a long Mach 1 belt for the refined oil and a Mach belt for the hydrogen. Make sure to lift the refined oil up and over the hydrogen belt. Run the hydrogen belt around the machines completely in a circle. Set these machines to x-ray cracking. Connect the refined oil belt using a Mach 1 sorter. Connect the hydrogen belt using a Mach 2 sorter. For the output, run a long belt of Mach 1 parallel to the hydrogen belt. Use a Mach 2 sorter to push the output hydrogen onto the hydrogen belt. Use a Mach 1 sorter to push the output graphite onto the outside graphite belt. Drop two splitters at the end of the graphite belt, one next to the hydrogen belt with a space in between, and one next to the graphite belt. Run a belt out of the splitter into a grid of thermal power stations. I like to run eight in this build, but that will change depending on your power requirements. If you aren't using enough power, these machines will barely turn on, and your hydrogen will overfill. That's okay because at the end of the thermal power station grid, we will place some storage tanks. Shout out to Total Eclipse. His info can be found below about how we can use these thermal power stations as resource sinks. Place six matrix labs stacked up one space away from the splitters. Run a 90 degree belt out of both splitters towards the matrix labs. Connect the matrix labs using Mark III sorters. Drop a storage outside the graphite belt and matrix labs. Connect the storages using Mark III sorters. On the side of your matrix labs, make sure to set the splitters to filter. This will allow the overflow to go into the graphite storage bin and the power grid. When starting the system up, kill the Mach 3 sorters leading into the hydrogen splitter until the hydrogen line circling your x-ray cracking machines is half saturated. A few things to note, keep an eye on the hydrogen, ensuring that there's plenty of room for it to store, as well as the graphite. There shouldn't be any issues here, but still, keep an eye on them. Well, I hope you enjoyed my red cube build. I know it's not perfect, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed this.